Hello Instagram and hello YouTube. I want to welcome you to the first episode of Fruit for the Spirit as its own entity with its own Instagram. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I pray that this play that this page blesses you. I'm excited for you to be here. I want this to be a community where we can all talk about God, pray together, endure together as young people, as new believers, as anything um, new in God. Um, for those of you who aren't new here, welcome back. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for following the new page and thank you for being on this journey with me. Um, for those of you don't, who don't know what this is, this is a page where I post messages from my own personal Bible study time. And today I definitely have a message for you. This time around, I want to start with a portion of my testimony or at least the part of it that really caused me to change my life how i'm living um and my overall dedication to god um and it's really personal and it's been hard for me to like share if you guys know me personally i'm very comfortable talking about it um or just in person but to actually post a video of what happened to me is really um it's it's hard and it's a little scary but i'm gonna do it anyway because not only is this gonna bless somebody else but it's also blessing me and helping heal me um as i'm speaking to you so first i want to start with a verse from first corinthians um chapter 10 verse 23 and most of you guys might know this verse but it said and this is from the niv virgin it says i have the right to do anything you say but everything is but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything, but not everything is constructive. Beneficial meaning resulting in good. Constructive mean, meaning serving a useful purpose, whether it's serving God's purpose, serving um, something that you're trying to do for yourself or just for the benefit of other people. And this is, this connects because weed is something that is not beneficial for me and not constructive for me and i'm going to tell you why for those of you who don't know i went to hampton university um, for my first semester of college um i was there i don't 2019 um and at the time i had just started experimenting with weed before leaving so when i got to college of course everybody told me look nia like virginia is different this is, this not is not california weed is not legal there so you don't want to buy from anybody you don't want to do that and what did i do not listen also everybody told me nia do not eat a whole entire edible it will screw you up <laughs> what did i do not listen because i i'm still young but at that time i was young minded and i wanted to experiment i you know i was bored and i was gonna do what i was gonna do despite what anybody told me and it didn't result in anything beneficial for me or constructive but it was constructive in the sense that it pushed me towards purpose and it made me want to dedicate my life to god um so one night and it'll actually be a year ago today on the day that i'm posting this video um on december 6th i decided to eat an entire edible i was chilling in the common area in my dorm with a couple of my homegirls and you know i was bored doing assignments and i was like you know what i'm gonna get myself an edible tonight you know i had bought from this person before everybody around me bought edibles from this person but the first time i did buy an edible from this person it was i didn't eat it all at one time um it was like i just didn't eat it all at one time this time i ate it all at once <laughs> pretty much ate the whole thing and when i tell you it hit me it hit me one second i was you know a little giggly starting to feel it a little bit and i looked at my head to the left and then i turned back around and it felt like one of them scenes in the show Euphoria. If y'all seen it, you know what I'm talking about when Rue take one of them drugs and everything started getting blurry and uh, not even blurry, but just, I just felt like it hit. <laughs> like, 
So my friends are like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. So I had to go back to my dorm room to get myself together for a minute. And then I came back down later. And for the ones who checked on me and made sure I was good and like straight that whole time. Thank you. I really do appreciate you. Um, Cause it was rough, but a week that was the week before it was time for me to come home. So during that week, um, I had some other really um, crazy spiritual encounters that, you know, made me want to submit and surrender my life to God. Um, and I'll speak about that in another video. But for today, I want to focus on what happened and what was the result of it. So at that time, or this is one part that I will speak about. Um, at that time, I was going to a church called Freedom Life. Um, shout out to them because you guys really did help me grow in God a lot. And shout out to Hope as well because you guys helped me grow in God as well. Um, we were at church and there was pre-church prayer. And so I was meditating and praying and I was just praying to God. Mind you, this was after I took this edible. I was praying to God and saying, or no, this is before I took this edible. But I was just praying to God and saying, you know, I want you to change me. I want you to remove everything that's not of you. Like I submit, I surrender to your purpose and your will for my life. And little did I know that meant me taking that edible changed everything. So the edible turned out to be laced. And when I got home and right before I got home, my family knew something was wrong with me. My closest friends that I grew up knew something was not right with me. But of course I didn't know something was not right with me but when i tell y'all i was out my mind like out my mind i was making all types of irrational decisions and i just remember being really deceived i had this skewed version thinking that all the decisions i was making all the stuff i was doing was for god in that it was just i can't even explain to you where my mind was and i cannot make this stuff up at all if you want to ask any of my family members it was very scary it was very traumatic not only for me but for them and i was out of my mind for a week before going into the mental hospital there was one particular moment that i remembered um i had to be sedated and when I, after i was sedated i woke up in a mental hospital a mental facility um a rehabilitation center with kaiser i did not know where i was until a couple of days before <laughs> a couple of days before um it was time for me to leave and my mind was starting to get back right um i met some really dope people in the mental hospital so shout out to you guys but that whole time i trusted in god because i knew that he was doing something for his purpose i was just like god like i know like this is enough to break anybody because i couldn't have come back from this my psychiatrist at the time told me um you could not you could not have come back to this you very well could have been stuck in a mental hospital for the rest of your life or been one of those people who are out on the streets and you know crazy as a result of some drug or on drugs still like this could have been a really bad situation and thank god that you did come back and i thank god that i did come back because if i didn't i wouldn't be sitting here in front of you telling you this story and telling you that not all things you can do everything but not everything is beneficial and you can do anything you want to do but not everything is constructed and um here i am now um I'm in a really good place now. All of this happened right before COVID broke loose. So honestly, God was saving me because had I had not taken a semester off from school and I went back to, um, and I went back to Hampton, I wouldn't have even been there a week before I would have had to come home. Saved me tons of money. I'm, I have a good job now that I like. Um, I'm just doing really well. My mental health is at the best it's ever been. My relationship with God is the best it's ever been in my opinion um you know i get up i read my bible every morning i listen to primarily gospel music or music that encourages me um i have really great friends really really great friends i love you guys so much my family phenomenal because they stuck with me through this entire process if you <laughs> If y'all see me moving around a lot, I'm probably going to cut this out. But if you see me moving around, it's because I'm trying to find the light. If the sun is leaving me. But anyway, I just wanted to share this story because I had an idea to do Fruit for the Spirit um, early on in my healing process. And um, it didn't come into fruition until I, my mom and I moved to L.A. And 
um, quarantine happened. So quarantine has really been a blessing. Um, it Fruit for the Spirit has helped some of you guys. Um, when I was posting them on my main Instagram page, it's definitely helped me take my relationship with God much more serious because the last thing that I want to do is ever be speaking to you guys and instructing you guys or trying to help you all. And I'm not personally trying to practice what I preach or apply God's word in the same way and walk in my faith the same way. So one thing I'm sharing this story because one, I want you to know why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I truly do have a passion for the word of God. I want to live my life the way God wants me to live it. And a part of that is sharing the gospel and sharing the glory of God and what he's done. And I just want you guys to know that I'm a living testimony. I'm a living result of what God can do. I was in a bad space. I didn't even know I was in a bad space when I took that edible. And here I am now thriving, thriving. I've gone through the ringer and I am meant alive and mentally present and just walking. And I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful for being able to sit here and even talk to you guys about this because I very well could be out on the streets. It would be no more Nia. And how many people's blessings would be stopped from me from that one decision. So I just wanna leave you guys with saying and knowing that I'm doing this because I wanna help people. I wanna bless you guys. I want you guys to know God the same way I know God and that I'm getting to know God still. And I want all of us to grow in grace together. That's what my shirt says, grow in grace um, from Saved by Christ Apparel. And know that it's not an ad, <laughs> but um, I want us all to grow in grace together. and. I want to end this video with saying that I love you all and I hope you're inspired and uplifted by this. And with that being said, I'm going to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this time with um, the people watching this video. I pray that everybody who comes across it, um, whether it's now or in the future, is blessed by this, that they're uplifted and inspired and that they know that you can literally do anything, that you can move mountains. You can take somebody from the pits of hell and raise them up to the sky and the heavens with you. Glory be to God. I praise you. We all praise you, Lord. And um, for new believers, Lord, I just want them to know that if they just confess that, you know, they believe in you or if they're still kind of skeptical about, be, um, about getting to know you, Lord, that this page helps them with that. I pray for protection over everybody in this video. I pray that you show all of these people, Lord, what is not beneficial to them, what is not constructive, constructive to them. And Lord, I pray that um, this seed that I'm planting flourishes, Lord, and that's pretty much it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I want to thank you all for watching. I love you all. I support you all. And I pray that as you guys continue to watch me grow, that, we're, that we all grow together and that you enjoy this page and that it blesses you. I love you guys. Have a beautiful week. Bye.